Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Moonlighter with me, Scruffy Joe. And uh, here we are, it is the 4th of February, 4th of February today. Uh, so we have been playing this game for the entire month of January plus four days in February. And uh, what we are about to do is uh, I have set up my shop, it is full of stuff. I have a backpack full of other stuff that needs to be sold. I'm basically just going to open the shop this morning. I am going to sell the heck out of everything. I'm going to get that 40,000 gold that I've got up there and I'm going to try and try and hit 100,000 gold through this the ooh, didn't like that, bro. Um through the uh, through the sort of the shopping element of this game this morning. Let's just see what happens if we put that to 190. Uh, loads of people are going to buy all of this stuff and it's going to be expensive. I mean, there's 7,000 quid coming straight away. In fact, I got a tip. <laughs> uh, and that was too cheap, whatever that was. That was, hang on, let's try and fix that situation. That was these, modified seeds. Let's just quickly... I've not got that many things which need pricing today. Most of the stuff has been priced. Ah, it's under high demand, which means we're not going to get a clear price anyway. Hmm... Uh, okay, I'll tell you what, since the one above it is 900 and the one below is 5, let's go for 750 and just see what people make of that. Um, I didn't put any items in my little sale bucket over here either, That this is unfortunately empty, but you really kind of want to keep expensive stuff in your sale bucket. Boom, 8 grand for those things if people buy them. Let's just throw out some leaves, get some cheaper stuff out as well. Oh, I've already got some leaves. Yeah. Buy more leaves. Yeah, let's not have two sets of leaves on the same table. Let's instead try and work out how expensive these things are. Um, well, fairly low down on the... Oh, crikey. I got no idea. Um, <laughs> Because this is um, this is level three stuff, uh, and I'm only really in level two in terms of dungeons. This is the um, the desert dungeon. So although it's a cheap thing, it's like number three on the list in the desert dungeon. That still makes it probably a lot more expensive than some of the other stuff. So I'm gonna just stick it out at 200 as a punt and see what happens. Yay! Uh, what else can we sell? Let's get rid of these. I said I was going to go for a hundred grand. I'm going to easily do that. Nice. Right, let's, uh, let's sort this again. What do we need on this table? I could do with somebody to buy some of these leaves. Too many leaves. Maybe I'll stick some leaves. I mean, they're 4,300 gold. I don't really want to stick them over in the sale bucket. Hey, you guys, stop wandering around. Buy things. Look. Give me two grand for those. Ha! <laughs> okay, so we found that these logs are definitely not worth this amount of money. Because uh, we just got an unhappy face. Very unhappy face at 190, so we'll just reduce that to 170. Uh, and those balls are definitely worth more than 200, so that went badly wrong. <laughs> uh, never mind. Never mind, these things happen. Somebody just bought a book. They were unhappy about buying that book. Uh, and more leaves have been sold. Although that's actually nutrient, isn't it? Now hang on a minute. I just sold one of these and the guy was on. No, no, it was a different book. It's fine. Ninja roll! Shop ninja roll! I am a shop ninja! Pew, pew, pew. And I've also mastered the diagonal roll, which I didn't think was a thing. I mean, these are clearly too expensive. I thought these were important. These were. Part of my armour is made of these pieces of wood. Yay! Buy more stuff. 
buy more stuff. Uh, let's go for these. There's a criminal. Gotcha. Um, that's good because that was worth eight grand. And if eight grand had run out of my shop, I would have been mighty annoyed. Mighty annoyed. Crikey, we are absolutely flying. So 750 was also far too cheap apparently. Let's go for oops. Let's go for 850 and let's just try selling one of them again. That guy's gonna try and rob me again, because he's got slicked back hair. Never trust a guy with slicked back hair! Got you. Get out of my shop. Oh, makes me so angry. Why well, I mean, you know, I literally go out every day to a dungeon busting my gut risking actual death not really actual death um, risking all sorts of not real things and uh, the result is I come back here and this guy just tries to rob me every day every day I open the shop it's an outrage But then again, I suppose he's got to make a living. Uh, one of these days, though, I'm going to get my spear out and staple him to the door. I've got a feeling that we might have just reached the end of the day. Yep. Um, and we have absolutely killed it today. Look at this. We made 88,000 gold today. That is a preposterous amount of money. Um, right, that's really good news. Let's ditch all that stuff and immediately head to my other home, uh, which would be the blacksmith, and buy myself a nifty second tier bow. Because at the moment I'm acting, I'm using this right. So I've got in one hand, I've got a spear that does 250 damage. <laughs> But then for range combat, I have got something which does 30 damage and a tiny, tiny chance of stun. So 64 grand to take that to 77 damage and poison is a bit of a bonus. I'm going to do that. Um, it is a lot of money, but it does lead on to that, which is obviously much more money, but that's 125 damage and fire. So let's just make sure we've got the right things highlighted so that we're only keeping the things we desperately need to keep should be yep steel helmet three steel chest plate three and all of this stuff is going to be things we're going to get out of the desert it's slightly alarming that there's this extra thing down here which seems to have nothing in it and i don't know whether that's um because there's some hidden equipment at some point but possibly who can tell uh, so we still got 60 grand, that's still a good amount of money. Um, we can still do a lot of things with 60 grand. Uh, we can, for example, do some shop upgrades. We can invite a couple of other people to the town who might help us. There's um, two people I haven't got at the moment. That's um, There's a retailer who sells all sorts of basic items, um, which I don't really see the point of because they're basic. Um, Wait. Uh, and then there is also a guy called a hawker who basically sells trinkets, ouch, which make your shop better. Um, so at the moment we've got that pot on the uh, on the sort of shelf in where my shop is, and that gives a 20% buff to. The, I mean, everyone everyone leaves me a tip basically at 20%, which is awesome. Uh, so there's a few other things that you can get. There's uh, bits of decoration which allow you to, Oi. get off, which allow you to. Um... Yeah. Lost my train of thought. Uh, which allow the shop to be open for a, a longer period of time. Uh, so it's like a 10% shop open period of time. And then there's also another one which is a. Um, you're going to get slightly more customers every day. 
And I think basically, as you upgrade the shop, you get more spaces to um, to fit these trinkets in. So you can end up with a shop which has got buffs on time and number of customers and the amount that they'll pay. Uh, so it's, it's all kind of handy. It's all very cool. Uh, what we got here? Destroys an artifact curse. That's going to be handy later on. So let's just punk, punk that over there for the time being. In fact, let's punk it up here for the time being. And let's plunk that down there because that's worth a pittance. Oop. And yes, that's right. I did just use the word a pittance. I'm afraid that is part of my everyday vocabulary and that marks me out as being a bit of a strange person. But, um, you know. I can't change who I am. If you want somebody who uses less complicated words than pittance, which isn't a complicated word, then feel free to find other channels to watch. There are many people who would benefit from you watching their stuff. Of course I'd prefer you to stay here uh, and listen to me say stupid words. Oh, stitch that. Uh, but of course I will ultimately say ridiculously simple words most of the time because you know, I'm lazy. Uh, right, uh, let's just backtrack a bit because we don't want to quite leave yet. There's a very large difference between daytime and nighttime in this game. If you come into a dungeon in the night, you generally get your bum kicked. Um, did I see a twinkling down there? Yes, I did see a twinkling down there. You gotta look out for it. it's just a tiny little twinkle. Um and it Ooh, right. Gotcha. Oh you got me. Gotcha. Ah That was a see now right. Point case in point here, right? This has been daytime and those enemies were easy to kill and had goop, which was worth about five five sort of ten gold something like that now I was doing a run last night in one of my off-camera grinding moments and um, and yeah I went down here and I got an absolute treasure trove of stuff it was seriously it was worth thousands all of that stuff that I was shopping uh, doing in the shop just now that all came from a, a run last night and oops and one run, perhaps, the day before. I just walked straight into that guy's um, horrible death bubble. Uh, so let's avoid that, wherever possible. And I've also discovered that my weapon is so good now that I can kill this before it starts firing. Which is pretty much ideal. Uh, not particularly exciting, but ideal. I mean, if you wanted everything to always be really horribly difficult then I suppose you could just take bad weapons and try doing it that way Whoop. ah get off me get off me oh got a live one stop touching me ow oh, crikey um that hurt a lot but it did give me some potions. How many potions did it give me? Three. Right. One. Two. That'll do for the minute. Uh, I'm trying to ration myself a little bit because they are expensive. And I can jump in that pool and get some health back. There we go. And then the next time I get hit, I can use that other one potion in my inventory and... Ha! -ha you missed me! Uh, and that'll be great. You missed me as well. And that'll free up a space in my inventory. What are you going to drop for me? It's a bow. Interesting. Don't normally get many bows dropped. Oh, get off! Bloody slime. Um, they are possibly my least favourite of the enemies. Because, I mean, they don't actually do that much damage to you. And you just sort of wiggle the stick and press the various buttons and they let you go. But... They do allow everything else to just sort of sit there and kill you, which is a bit of a pain. 
Uh, right, how are we doing? Let's go. Let's, oops. I just, by sheer fluke, just ninja rolled over that poison so it didn't hurt me. Ow. 38 damage. That seems excessive. Ooh, goop. Why won't you let me pick that up? I am holding quite a lot of vendor trash right now and I probably need to get rid of quite a lot of it. Ooh. What are we doing, guys? Are we hiding from each other? Oh, that's... Ow! Ow! Owies! That hurt. Right, so let's just sort this by price, except something just happened and I've just destroyed a curse on something, which might not have been the right thing to do. Price. Cursed. Fine. Hey, that's my old bow. Unbelievable. I paid thousands of gold for that and I've just come in here and picked one up. Um, right, so... Do, 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 modified seeds, somewhere around about 500. They're worth nothing. That's definitely worth nothing because there's only two of them. It's handy to have a stack of jelly because that's sick. That's 10 potions right there. Uh, definitely don't need any of those. I've got a chest full of them at home. Uh, we just discovered that magic wood is not worth very much. Whereas venomous spores are probably worth even less. So let's get rid of the venomous spores as well. Okay. Now, if anything expensive drops in the next couple of minutes, I will be dropping these jellies in order to pick them up. Um, but for now, we're doing alright. Whoa. Hey, cry, you are what? Uh, there's still a guy down there, isn't there? With his, I think it's wind actually. It's not a, it's not a bubble. It's wind. Um, that guy is generating wind with his amazing arms. Okay, so what we got here? We've got some things which are going to destroy curses when we go back to the village, and we have some other stuff, which, sorry, not destroy curses, will destroy items. So let's just put that there. Then let's pick up that and put it there, and that will then destroy the curse, which means I can then combine that with that, allowing me to pick this up, put it up here, and then put that in there, and then sell these, because they are worth 60... 600. 600. I mean, most of these other items are worth more than 600 on their own, uh, except for that one, obviously, and that one. So we still got a bit of space, still fine, still good. We can carry on for another couple of rooms. We may even get to the boss. Oh, we have going to get to the boss, unless the room before the boss is a nightmare, in which case we'll just run for it at that point. Don't really want to pick that up. Don't really want to pick that up. Oh, we've actually still got another little branch down here, hold on. Do, 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 do. Gotcha. Oh, these guys that shoot the poison, they're a pain. Let's use my new bow, hang on. Haha, -ha, you are poisoned, die! Dots, take damage over time. Ha ha ha. Um. So that was cool, because I was able to pick up quite a lot of the expensive things. And I have just used a potion by mistake by pressing the wrong button. And what I wanted to do was that. There we are. Um, how done. I'm going to pick these up and then sell them. Oops. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, I've done it again! Uh, <laughs> hey, oh, whoa, whoa! Do, 
Do, do, do, do. This is becoming an ongoing situation. Right, what we got going? Oh man, I'm not. Uh, okay, well. Do I say. Yeah, they're worth nothing. And they're worth next to nothing. Oops. I thought I'd done something very stupid then for a minute. But no. Uh, okay, so this pot can go up somewhere where it won't hurt anything. And go there. Uh, and everything else can go there. I mean, it feels like we're sort of very much dying. Very much running out of space to carry things. And some of the stuff that we are attempting to carry is worth quite a lot of money. Ah, don't kill me. Thank you. Uh, leaves. What are those leaves? I'm not even sure what those leaves are worth. Can't remember. Cannot remember. I think it's quite a lot, though. Uh, oh no, no, it's not. It's fine. We we can live without those leaves. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just quickly run up here, jump in the swimming pool thing, um, to get my health back. Then we will. Oh, I do want to pick that up. Uh, now that's a shame. Um, what's that worth? We have no idea. Somewhere around 450. So that's 1200 if I throw those away. What's this worth? Hey, all right. Thank you. Because that thing that we just picked up is definitely worth 1,600. Uh, right, so this has been a fairly good run, and that is the sort of thing that you should never say when playing a game like this, because it means that you're going to run up... Ow! You're going to immediately run up here and... Uh, cool. Uh, and get killed by the boss. This... When you see um, a sinking chest, the idea is to kill all the bad guys before the chest sinks. Right, and that's no use to me. You can pick those up though, so that is a use to me. Get rid of 600 quid's worth of logs and pick up one of those instead. Pop that there. Um, what else is good? Well, I'm just going to sell these, I'm afraid. Basically, the only reason I'm carrying on is because the um, the final boss might drop some sort of really useful stuff. Normally, he's got some valuable loot, so let's try it. Also, it's the second time, it's the second level. Oh, I don't know whether we. Wow! I don't actually think I've seen this. Jesus! <laughs> oh my goodness me! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> there you go. What did I just say? What did I just say? <laughs> that is, I mean, that is thousands and thousands of thousands of gold worth of stuff, and it's all gone except for that top five items. Oh dear. Ah, oh, the. Arrogance. Arrogance killed me. And there is a lesson there for all of us. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Um, anyway, uh, let's go back to town. Uh, and let's call that one a day. <laughs> um, yeah. Flomp. Ouch. Uh, pick yourself up and get yourself home, boy. Uh what a wash! <laughs> what a washout! <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you very much for watching this episode of Moonlighter with me here, Scruffy Joe. Um, 
a, a staggering level of um, of predictable death. I think really, I, I should have kept my big mouth shut a couple of rooms before that boss. Uh, never mind. This is what happens. This is I spent all that time fiddling around with what I'm going to carry, how much stuff I'm going to get. Fought a boss I've actually never fought before because I thought I'll show off. And I got a kicking. I got an absolute kicking. I wasn't paying attention. I failed to look at my health bar. Stayed well away from the heal button. And it was just... Oh, hands up. Hands up. That's absolutely the best ending to an episode <laughs> in terms of how much and how much fun it was. Uh, but it was, it was rubbish. <laughs> oh, dear. Join me again next time and we will have some more fun with this. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.